and six. Hello, Mayday family. How are you guys doing today? Thank you so much for joining me. I love you guys as always. It is such a beautiful day outside, so I am that much more excited to talk about today's topic. Today's topic is how to change your life in one week. That's right, just one week. Trust me, it's possible. You can change your entire life in just a week. Let's dive right in. The first step to changing your entire life in just one week is to think about 10 things that you're grateful for. And not just 10 things that you're grateful for overall, think about over the past week, what are the 10 things that you're the most grateful for? Everyone has something, whether it's being alive or a new job that you recently got or the job that you still have or your kids, whatever it is that you may, you may be thinking and you may be grateful for, something that you're grateful for, I want you to think of those 10 things that you're the most grateful for. Second step in actually changing your entire life in just one week is to have an open mind. Having an open mind can apply to several different situations. In this case, what I mean by have an open mind is it doesn't matter how small or silly or trivial it, that particular thing might seem as far as what it is that you're grateful for, it is still very powerful. While you're thinking about those 10 things and doing step number one in changing your life in just one week, I want you to think about everything, regardless of how small you think it is or how silly or trivial you might think it is. It doesn't matter. I want you to think about, truly think about everything it is that you are grateful for, at least 10 things that you are grateful for, regardless of how small or how big you think that it might be. So the second step to changing your life in just one week is have an open mind. The third step in changing your life in just one week is to allow yourself to feel gratitude. That's a very powerful statement. Once you've done and you've completed step one, which is listing and thinking about 10 things that you're the most grateful for, in particular from your previous week, and you've completed step two, which is being open and making sure that you're not leaving anything out, regardless of how small or how large you might think that particular thing is, the third thing you wanna make sure to do in order to change your life in just one week is to allow yourself to feel gratitude. Gratitude is a very powerful emotion that's able to really wash away any tension and stress that we might be going through at that very moment. So allow yourself to be cleansed by gratitude. While you're doing steps number one and steps number two, allow yourself to really feel that gratitude. Allow yourself to really see the magnitude of those things that you're grateful for and why it is that you're truly grateful in those things. Bask in that gratefulness and bask in that gratitude and allow yourself to be healed and cleansed by it. The fourth step in changing your life in just one week is to note it down on a slip of paper. So once you've thought of 10 things from the previous week that you are the most grateful for, now you need some paper in order to note all those 10 things down. So what you'll want to do is note down each one of those 10 things on a slip of paper. Writing your gratitude down on a slip of paper and writing each one of those 10 things down on a slip of paper makes it a lot easier to really get into the mood and the zone of being grateful for those things. When writing the things that you're the most grateful for, be as specific as you can. In this step, you want to make sure to be as specific as you possibly can when writing each of those 10 things on your slip of paper. You want to say something along the lines of, 
I am grateful for, insert your thing here, because, insert your thing here. You wanna be as specific as you can and really, really allow yourself to fill that gratitude and dive right into being grateful for those things and the reasons why you're grateful for all those things. There is extreme power from writing something down and making it physical. It's almost like you're calling it into being. And if these are things that you're grateful for, you're you're just like calling those things out and there's just extreme power in writing that down and making it into like more of a physical. Write those things down. Once you've figured out and you've thought of the 10 things that you're the most grateful for from the previous week and remember to remain open about those 10 things regardless of how small or trivial you might feel like one or several of those things are, really soak in that grateful feeling and think of all the reasons why you're grateful for each one of those 10 things from the previous week. Now, you want to definitely write it down and writing something down, making it physical again, has such meaning and such power behind it. You do this and you will definitely be well on your way to changing your life in just one week. Keep it in your jar. So this is a little bit of a smaller jar, I'm guessing, than you guys will have because once we reach the final step, you will see why you probably wanna go with a little bit of a larger jar than this one. Uh, but if you if you feel comfortable with something this size, that's fine too. But we will uh, cover that in the sixth step. But this is one of the jars that I use for uh, when I write gratitudes uh, on a daily basis. Because we're doing this more on a weekly basis, uh, a good day to do this would be on Mondays, right? One of the most difficult days of the week because a lot of us have to wake up early in the morning and then go to work. So that would be a really good time to do this is early in the morning, before work, before your day has to get going, before you have to get going with your day and everything starts to happen. Uh, take a couple of minutes and write Think about those 10 things and write those 10 things that you're grateful for down on 10 slips of paper and put them in the jar. The jar can be whatever container you have laying around in the house. They actually even make jars like at craft stores, for example, specifically for gratitude slips. So if you want something a little bit more fun and decorative, you could definitely get online and order a nice looking jar, or you could just have something that you have laying around the house and use that as your jar. One tip that I will recommend when it comes to this is that your jar be see-through. Now this is pretty heavy glass. I mean, um, it doesn't have to be glass. This just so happens to be mine and it's a, it's a little bit of the smaller version of what I typically use and it just so happened to be made, up, made out of glass. But uh, I would recommend for your jar to be see-through. And the reason for that is because seeing your gratitude jar with all your gratitude slips in there is a great physical reminder and visual reminder of all the wonderful things that you have to be grateful for in your life. So every time you see it and every time you see all those slips in there, especially if it's see-through, that is something that will serve to constantly encourage and motivate you just by seeing it. It's a great visual reminder. Remember all of those things, all of those wonderful things that we have in our life and uh, to continue to stay motivated in everything that we do. So that is the reason why I would recommend getting a jar and I would recommend that the jar be see-through. The sixth and final step to changing your life in one week is to share it with yourself and share it with others. Now, this is such an important step as well because I do believe that sharing it with yourself is so critical, but sharing it with others is even more critical and it even pulls to you 
more physical manifestations and more physical blessings and in spreading that word and in spreading uh, you know these really really wonderful things that you're grateful for actually physically saying it for it to be kind of like putting it out there into the earth right and you I really do believe that by doing that you will get more of that and not only that you will start to see even more things that you're grateful for that you probably didn't notice before so the sixth step is sharing it with yourself and sharing it with others now with this uh with the gratitude jar and this particular method you would do this once every week on monday mornings and the purpose of this is by the end of the year you now have a huge gratitude jar if you've been doing it every Monday of every week at the end of the year you now have this huge gratitude jar filled of an immense amount of things all these paper slips of things that you're grateful for and what I like to do at the end of the year is uh, in December or in New Year's or New Year's Eve I like to then open up this gratitude jar and I like to start kind of like taking the slips out and reading all the wonderful things that have happened to me throughout the year that I am also grateful for and it just brings all those things to mind it makes me feel so grateful it makes me feel so happy and it just changes my entire view and my entire life as well and so this not only has the power to change your life uh, in one year but it has the power to change your life in one week because you're reminding yourself of all the wonderful things that you already have in your life and all the wonderful things that you have reason to be grateful for and it brings and attracts uh, more of those wonderful things to you when you're grateful for what you already have you find that you're bringing and you're attracting even more to yourself a great way to change your life in one week you'll probably even notice that your life will start changing that same day every single day and every single week that you do the gratitude jar is another week that you will definitely see a huge transformation in your life so if you want to change your life in one week do this do those steps that we just talked about and watch your life start changing instantly in just one week right in front of your eyes I love you guys. Remember, subscribe, comment below for more awesome Monday frenzy and more awesome videos five days a week. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye bye. Physical manifestation and making it into more of a physical manifestation and making it into more of a physical manifestation. Once uh, are filled of fill, write your uh, regardless of how small or several or, or regardless of how small or trivial. Uh,